Hi, it's Brian Justin speaking with Guaranteed Ray. Wanted to give you a quick update before the Fed meeting tomorrow. We've had producer prices last week, consumer prices today. So looking like it's a slightly downward trend on inflation, which is very, very good. And it's going to look like the Fed will raise 50 basis points tomorrow. And I'll give you more data on that tomorrow. And then maybe the same in January, then maybe even stop. Or like I said, maybe one more raise, small raise in March. So the trend is that they're getting near the end of their cycle. So here's what the data looked like today. So headline inflation was only up 0.1% uh, month over month versus I thought it'd be 03 The high wage mark month over month was June of 2022, 1.3 for the month. The core without food and energy, which I always said is a bit silly. I've said this each time we've talked. That was 0.2%. It was expected to be 0.3%. The high water mark on inflation was April of 2022 for the core. It was 0.9% in one month, almost 1% in a month. A uh, year over year, we're at 7.1% versus the 7.3 expected. And last month, it was 7.7. So inflation coming down, still not anywhere near where they want it to be. But the high water mark was June, where it was running at 9.1%. And then the core, again, without food and energy, it's running at 6% year over year. 6.1% was expected. Last month, it was 6.3. The high water mark on the core was September when it was running about 6.6%. So again, inflation coming down a little bit. It's never going to be quite to that 2% they want because wages are running at about 5% year over year. So it's going to be tough to get anywhere close to 2%, probably more like 3 to 4%. But good for us. Rates will go up a little bit more, maybe stay there for a while, but inflation is coming down slowly but surely, which is a good sign. Brian Justin, Guaranteed Rate. Let's have a conversation. I will be back tomorrow with the results of the Fed meeting and their rates. Big one, big, big day tomorrow. Thanks. Bye now.